Hey, it's Rosa Grillo back with another DIY and today we're going to be reworking these pants into cute fall pants and I love these like this screams fall just all fall vibes but these pants are a little big on me and they're a size medium but I'm still going to rework it and sell it on my shop and I was thinking of reworking it with these sweaters and creating kind of like a cute patchwork design because like I feel like fall is patchwork and if you love DIYs and watching them or doing them this was my first DIY reworking this jacket so definitely go check it out these are the sweaters I decided to use I tried choosing colors that were very similar to the pants and I think I'm gonna start with cutting off the bell bottom with this sweater because I like the bottom of it so I'm going to lay my pant down and of course my cat literally can't, went in the way like she look I push her away and then she just comes back what is this well anyways we're gonna work with her there so I'm just marking around my pant so I can cut it out and now I need to move her and she won't move so first thing I'm doing is cutting straight across and to make this easier I honestly put my pant over the sweater and I'm just going to cut around it leaving about a half an inch for seam allowance and I also cut about an inch lower uh, than my original marks so that way I have seam allowance and got look how uneven this came out. I, we're we're going to work with it. So this is what the bottom looks like. I'm going to put it inside out. That way I can stitch it together. And all I'm going to do is sew the side seams. And this is what it looks like done. And I know I used black thread. I was too lazy to put white thread back on. Now I'm going to stitch these two parts together. And I'm just going to pin it at the side seams. Just because it like looks more professional that way. If you sew it that way. And my sister did my nails. Look how cute they are. Anyways, getting back on track. I'm just going to stitch this across. And this is what it looks like after I'm done stitching it. I'm folding the pants on top of each other to check if the length is the same. Because obviously when you cut and sew it, sometimes they're uneven. And it's about a half an inch to an inch uneven. So I'm just going to go back to the inside and stitch more of this off to make it even. And they align perfectly now. So moving on to my next patch I was thinking about doing it on top and these sleeves I like I'm vibing with them like I feel like I should use them I kind of like the way they look so I'm gonna start by cutting off like the edge of the sleeve and I'm cutting around it instead of tracing it because it's just a lot easier and quicker so now I'm gonna fold it up and I'm gonna cut across just because this is gonna be like extra seam allowance for the pants and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side just so I have enough seam allowance because I don't want to make the pants too short. And this is what it looks like so far. I, I like it. I like the way it looks. Because it's a sleeve, I actually have to cut it across because it's not supposed to be connected on those sides. It's supposed to be connected on the short side. So I have to just like cut it. And I'm going to do the same process I did before with this sleeve. I'm just trying to find a spot I like. I know the sleeves aren't completely like symmetrical on both sides. But like it, it'll work. It'll make it more like unique. And here this cat is again just bugging me but she's cute so i'll let her stay anyways getting back to the diy i'm just finishing it up cutting this little section out that i'll be removing and replacing with the little patchwork sweater parts and honestly this part is getting repetitive and boring so you just watch my cute kitty now i'm just flipping them over so i can overlock the edges of the fabric on the wrong sides of the fabric and honestly this is so hard to tell and i don't know why i struggled so hard trying to figure out which way this pattern was supposed to go and this cat is still with me and now i'm going to stitch these two sweater parts together and i'm just gonna put them inside out and i'm just pinning them oh my god she's she's just too cute and I stitched them together and now I'm going to move on to stitching the sweaters to the pants now. And I'm just going to repeat again. And this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to finally do the other one, but she's a little bit in my way. I'm glad she left gracefully that time. Anyways, um, I'm just going to stitch this upper leg to this one. And oh my God, I'm stitching it wrong. My pattern. Oh, no, this is just, no. Um, okay, I fixed it. <laughs> So now I'm going to do is stitch it all around and this is what it looks like stitched all together and this is the top part. I really like it. I want to add more detail so I was thinking of taking like these little extra pieces and making a little patchwork design around it but I need to play around with it to see where I kind of want to put it. I feel like I definitely need more patchwork designs because what I did is just definitely not enough. I want it to look better. I want it to look super boho and unique. And I have this other piece and I'm just working and trying to figure out where I want it. And I like it on the bottom where the little sweater parts are. I think it like makes it stick out more. So I'm just going to pin them all together to get ready for sewing. And 
now i also was thinking wouldn't it be cool if i add a scrunch so in order to do that all i did was put my fabric in and out in and out of the thread and just pulled it and it created this like really cute scrunch design on the bottom and i'm vi i'm vibing with it and i finally finished and they're done don't worry i got close-ups but this is how they came out i really love it the super cute patchwork fall design boho look if you like these or a size medium going to be sold on my shop most definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more diy sustainable outfit inspo and i promise i have hauls coming up i also have this extra pair of pants if you want me to rework these too comment down below and thank you so much for watching